You say, oh. Bringing you the finest entertainment on this side of the void. Game reviews, movie reviews, tales and myths from the supernatural unknown, unsavory food reviews, clown world news, and much more, all wrapped up in one extremely mediocre yet morbidly amusing online television channel, The Shady Gamer Channel. Entertainment, but not for everyone. Welcome to the Christmas edition of the Grub Review. And this time we're going to try out all types of Christmas snacks and cakes and whatnot uh, from a few different countries. Uh, so let's dive in. Christstollen or Weihnachtstollen are a traditional German Christmas bread. It's usually shaped as a long loaf and is made of a rich yeasted dough that is filled with dried fruits, nuts and spices. It's covered with powdered sugar. The name Christstollen is said to be derived from the German word Christkind meaning Christ child. Oh boy, I hope this doesn't come from some ancient pagan cannibal custom they Christified. What we have here are the Christ stolen. So yeah, down the hatch. Yes, let's try it. A bit dry. That's why you usually drink it with a warm cup of blue wine. Or with a bit of butter on it. Mm. For me, I like it like this. Mm. With a, a nice chunk of hot blue wine, which we have here. With my special rusty mug. Maybe someday for sale. <laughs> Yeah, put the waffle house mock. Paired with the gluey one, this is a very nice one, very nice Christmas dessert. Yeah, it's fine if you eat it like this, you, you can put butter on it a, bit, a little bit, not too much. You, you will get maybe double pickles. It's nice, it's got volume to it. Yeah, it's hearty. When I think about Christmas desserts, this is usually what pops up in my head. Hmm. The Christmas stone. This and gluey one is basically Christmas for me. Okay. So yeah, for me this is a total winner. Yeah, I think, it's a winner. I think it's great. It, it's great. But I think maybe all of them will be at least good. I don't Let's really think we have a real bad one, a real stinker in there. No, and they're all they're all at least gonna be decent. Decent. Yeah. So yeah, the Christ Stone from Germany. Yay! Good job, Germany. Well done, boys. And now we have Il Panettone Classico. For our next Christmas snack, we go somewhere a bit more. Panettone is a traditional fruitcake served during Christmas in Italy. Its dome-shaped loaf is filled with butter, sugar, raisins, candied citron and candied orange peels. Usually it also contains a small amount of brandy. Liquor truly does make everything better. I sono an affamato from Italia. Tutti frutti. Yeah, but you, don't know, you don't know what I said in the Italian. Sono affamato. What does that mean? Feed me, I'm hungry. <laughs> Get your damn food. <laughs> yeah, thank you. It already looks um, very dry. Looks it's very like dry. Um, a little bread with some raisins and stuff in yeah, it. Yeah, but it, it feels very soft. It does feel very fluffy, yeah. So, this, I think this with butter is uh, also a very good. How do you say Bon Appetit in Italian? Mm. Big man, big Italian words, but... Yeah. <laughs> I'm learning it. <laughs> Why are you learning Italian? I don't know, just a phrase. You want, when you order pizza you want to talk Italian. Uh, yeah, or spaghetti, it's all nice. Alright, let's, let's just try this. Mm. 
You can taste the hint of brandy. There's a splash of brandy in there normally. Mm. Mm. Right. And now you say, I was thinking, it tastes like normal raisin bread, but now I, I taste the brandy. Brandy, yeah. It's nice. not, that, not as dry as I imagined it would be. Mm -hmm. It's kind of more. It has a bit of moistness to it. Brandy has a, or else you could just if not for a brandy, it would be a normal uh, raisin, raisin bread. bread. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. it, it also has like spices in it, and um, it should also have some hints of citrus in it. And orange mm -hmm. peels, like yeah, yeah, yeah. orange peels, something like that. Yeah, it's not bad. It's it's, it's nice. It's okay, in my eyes. It's okay. It's quite nice. I think you're just sucking up to the Italians. They have nice food, yes, and if I am hungry and I'm finding myself in Italy, I want to uh, uh, know the phrase so I can say, I'm hungry. It's what I get feed me. Because you know when I'm hungry, I'm, I am get uh, angry and I get uh, hungry. You get hungry, yeah. yeah, yeah. You hulk out. No, not, uh, not hulking out, but I get... Uh, annoying. <laughs> annoyed. I, I'm a bit annoyed and... Well, luckily I'm feeding you then. Yeah. So yeah, for me it's okay. And for you it's good. Great. It's good. Yeah, great. Just good, so... It's magnifico. Magnifico, how do you say it? No, not, not magnifico. The crystal has... That was better for me. That was a lot better. better. Yeah, that, was a, that was a lot better. But this is good. This okay. is just good. It's good, yeah. It's alright. Good. We'll stick with that. Yeah. This is good. Straight from England, we have mince pies. Straight from the land of tea, biscuits, and crooked teeth, it's mince pies. A pastry filled with a mix of dried fruits, spices, and brandy. Mince pies are a popular gift during Christmas and given as a token of appreciation. Small, snack sized, bite sized. Interesting. It's like mini pies. They look like mini pies. Yeah. yeah. Now, so, this looks like one. This one looks like it has almost a face because it's indented, like here. If you look at it, so. Uh, you don't see this, but you see the indent here, it's almost like a smile. You take the face pie. Okay. You can eat the face pie. Mince pies. Mince pies from England. England. Down the hatch. Then you eat coke, Governor. Mm. It's quite a filling. Mm. It's nice. It's a hard outside, soft filling. Something more appetizer-ish. Mm -hmm. Very flavorful. Mm -hmm. It has cookie dough, but inside it's dried fruit. Dried, dried, yeah, confetti dried fruits-ish. Yeah, it has a lot of flavor. It has a nice, nice texture. I like it. Mm -hmm. It's quite nice, yes. Mm, mm, mm. And we're staying in England with a nice fruit pudding. Now, when taking it out, we kind of fucked it up. So that's why it looks like a pile of shit. We are staying in the land of jellied eels for the next one, old chaps. Back in the olden days of medieval England, whenever people weren't busy dying from some plague, they made plum pottage during Christmas. A thick porridge-like dish that over time evolved into the Christmas pudding the English folk still enjoy to this day. It's filled with dried fruits, spices and left to soak into a mixture of brandy, rum or sherry. 
Sometimes the pudding is even left to soak in liquor for several months. Those cheeky bastards. Now the fruit pudding we are trying is a little extra with a Scottish twist as it's been infused with 12 year old Glenfiddich single malt scotch whiskey. Now that'll put some pep in your step. But it's fruit pudding and this is a special fruit pudding because we went a little extra and it has a Scottish vibe to it with some nice whiskey in it. Single malt scotch whiskey in it. What is it? So yeah, I'm gonna try to slice off. Yeah, it was, it was a bitch to open it or to get it out of the package. Just so that's why it's fucked up. It looks quite fucked up. There we go. So yeah, fruit pudding. No, there's definitely whiskey in there. Mm. But dried fruit again, also very nice. Mm. A very rich, fruity taste. Mm -hmm. and a bit not uh, too heavy of the yeah, whiskey. It's not too heavy, not dry at all, it's very moist. Yeah, it's, it's not dry, it feels mm -hmm. moist thanks to, thanks to the whiskey. So it's nice it's to... It's not too sweet because the whiskey gives it some nice tang to it. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Very nice. I wonder how many of these you have to eat to get drunk, the whiskey ones. Ooh. Mm. Depends on... Uh, One or two? So I, I think it's, it's probably more. I don't know. It's pretty good though. But do you count drinking flu like this? Mm. No. Ah, okay. But it's still a little bit too dry. It's not so that you can eat a whole one, I think, and you wouldn't drink. Yeah. It's. But it's nice. It's uh, definitely something yeah. to try at home and uh, surprise everyone with. Something else than a cake. Yeah, it's something different. Okay, for us non-English people. Okay. Now, sticking with the England team, if you had to choose between that or the mince pies, mm. I would pick the Scottish, would the Scottish whiskey, the fruit pie. If I had more than a few people, I would uh, take a little pie-ish. This more as an appetizer. Ah, yeah. So you mean you to use the the pudding more as a dessert yeah. and a mince pie you have to put out as, an appetizer. as a little snack before yeah. the dinner starts. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. So yeah, fruit pudding, another winner. Very good, England. And as the finale of our culinary Christmas endeavor, we go home. I give you the Kerststronk. Translated, it means Christmas log. A traditional Christmas dessert from our very own little country, Belgium. A kerststronk is a log-shaped cake that's decorated with whipped cream, chocolate, nuts and other crap. There's also an ice cream version, which is what we're having now, because I wanted to mix it up a bit. The kerststronk symbolizes the Christmas tree and you can have a ton of variations of it with different fillings, toppings and whatnot. You can get very creative with it, but as mentioned before, we have a pretty basic ice cream one. It was also cheaper. We really need some sponsors, okay? Maybe I should do some gamble streams on Kick. Oh damn you pesky moral compass. Anyway, the Kerststronk. And last but not least in this Christmas extravaganza of snacks, we have the Kerststronk. And this is the ice cream version. You also have like a version with biscuits, more like a cake version. But this is the ice cream version. And this is a very Belgian Christmas dessert. Yeah. yeah. Also popular in France, but who cares about France? Yeah. Don't. Fuck. Fuck France. Except for people who watch our videos from France. We <laughs> love you. You are amazing. Yeah. But yeah, let's give it a go. It has a chocolate center. 
then a vanilla middle layer and then an outer layer of more chocolate. So if you're a chocolate lover, ice cream chocolate lover, you can pick. It's definitely the right choice for you. Now this is the, the very basic version of it, the ice cream version. Like the cake versions, they are a lot more elaborate. Yeah, they have different fillings. They have a lot of decorations on them. They have whipped, whipped cream on them, nuts on them, berries on them. You can find them in all sorts of different styles. So it's it's a, it's a very creative dessert. You can do all kinds of crap with it if you want. But yeah, we got we went a little bit basic here. So, but it's 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 nice. It's it's something different. Also, it's refreshing. It's um, it helps you with the digestion system mm -hmm. because it's ice cream. It's good for digestion. So. After a whole eating to us for us uh, eating all the other Christmassy stuff, it will help us uh, digest the rest. It's it's pretty good. Well, I imagine the the cake ones they would be probably be better if you got a really good one. I'm thinking like a cake one also with a fruity filling uh, with some you know berries and whatnot, and some whipped cream leaves. Sometimes, yeah, no. but you don't need. <laughs> no, but maybe there can be. Yeah, they have a lot of they have a lot of decoration. decorations on them. Indeed, like, like I got this. Yeah, you have those. But I remember we. I also had like the the guest strongs, um, the cake ones, and they had like little mushrooms on them made from mm -hmm. sugar. Those mm -hmm. were also pretty nice. So yeah, you can be super creative with guest strongs, which is by the way it means uh, Christmas strongs, like the trunk of a tree. Okay. So yeah, uh, yeah, it's 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 a good dessert. Like a bit basic this one, but it's a a Belgium all-time favorite. So yeah, you can't go wrong with it. Everybody likes it. So most people likes it. Uh, Everybody likes it, Martin. Everybody. And if if Sharpie, he does, but he can't afford it. Okay. So yeah, this was the final one uh, of our Christmas grub review. I hope you enjoyed it and to wish you all a Merry Christmas, Happy New Year and just Happy Holidays and you know, don't get too drunk, don't blow yourself up with fireworks and just have a good time. Yeah, Merry Christmas.